Have you ever noticed those colourful tubes we use for blood collection? Each one has a different colour cap. Red, blue, green, purple, yellow, grey. And you might be wondering, why so many? Well, those colours aren't random at all. Each tube actually has a special additive inside that helps with a specific type of test. And today, I'm going to break it all down for you, vial by vial, in the simplest way possible. Let's start with the light blue tube. This one contains sodium citrate. Its job is to prevent blood from clotting by binding calcium. We usually use this for coagulation studies like PT, APTT and D-dimer. Basically, if the doctor wants to check how well your blood clots, this is the tube we use. Next is the red tube. Super simple. This one usually has no additive or sometimes a clot activator. It's mainly used for getting plain serum. Think chemistry, serology or immunology tests. If you've ever had a routine blood test, chances are some of your blood went into a red tube. Now, the fancy one, the gold or tiger top tube yellow. This one has a gel separator plus clot activator. What does that mean? When blood is spun in a centrifuge, the gel helps separate serum from cells. These tubes are super common for tests like hormones, liver function, kidney function and other biochemistry panels. Moving on to the green tube. This one contains heparin, which is another anticoagulant. It's perfect for plasma studies and electrolyte testing. Basically, if the doctor wants results quickly, green tubes are the go-to. Next up, the purple or lavender tube. This one has EDTA, and if you're in the lab, you know this tube is the king of haematology. We use it for CBC, ESR, HBA, 1C and more. EDTA prevents clotting and keeps blood cells in good condition for counting under the machine. Finally, the grey tube. This one contains sodium fluoride plus potassium oxalate. It's used for blood glucose testing because the fluoride stops sugar levels from changing after the sample is collected. Super important for accurate diabetes testing. So now you know, every tube colour has a specific additive and each additive has a specific purpose. Red for serum, blue for clotting tests, purple for haematology, green for electrolytes, yellow for cultures and grey for glucose. The next time you see a phlebotomist pick up one of these colourful tubes, you'll actually know what's going on and maybe impress your friends with your new lab knowledge. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your classmates or colleagues. And let me know your suggestion in the comment. Thanks for watching and remember, in the lab, every colour tells a story.